Hello, welcome to Coconuts. Um, I am going to talk to you today about short row shaping when you are using garter stitch. Um, you may have seen our videos on doing short row shaping on stockinette stitch. And for that, I always, always, always use a shadow wrap short row, but there's no need to do anything that fancy when you are using garter stitch. Um, what I do for garter stitch is I wrap a stitch and leave it wrapped. I do not unwrap it and knit it together with the stitch next to it. Wrap it and leave it. And what it winds up looking like is a pearl on the right side, which blends right in with your garter stitch. So there's where I work those short rows and you can't see it all besides the fact that it's covered anyway by the collar. But let me show you what that looks like. So to do this, short row that this by the way is the baby coco pattern um, it's a good way to learn the coconuts method uh, without committing to a full adult sweater it's just a little tiny bb one and this one you can see i've started i've done a couple of passes already and i'm about to do this short row so when i come to the point where i need to do the short row what you do is you just, whether you're on the right side or the wrong side, it's the same thing. You're gonna slip the next stitch over to the right needle without working it, pass the yarn between the needles to the front and slip that stitch back. So you've wrapped it. Then you're gonna turn your work and knit back. And when you come to that stitch next, you're not gonna do anything to it. You are not gonna unwrap it. You're gonna just leave it and you can see already where I've wrapped that stitch. It just looks like a knit, or I'm sorry, it looks like a pearl on the right side, which is what garter stitch is. So it just blends right in. You can see on these that I've already wrapped and turned. There would have been one there, there would have been one there, and they just wind up blending right into your garter stitch pattern. And when you come to the stitch that you wrapped on the row below, you just knit right on, right, well, let's see. There's the stitch I wrapped on the last row and I did nothing to it. I just knitted right past it and I'm about to wrap another one and don't do anything about it when you come back to it on the next row and it'll just blend right in. 